So Axis makes this door controller. If we open it, this one does two two doors. So when you get it, you can get this with a as a one door controller. It just does one door, but this one does two, and you've got you've got position, you got input and outputs for your door. So you can do things like the T-Rex or a, a door position switch. And then you've got card reader here, another card reader. And then, so let me, so this is a door controller and it's actually really 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 good because it's poe so you just run your data in here and that's all you need and you take this piece out so which you'll notice as you got door one reader one and then up here you've got relay one and then here you've got door two reader two and relay two so if you're controlling two doors, they can be totally independent of each other, and you can you can put in your inputs here for your door, so your T-Rex and your door contact, and then you've got your door position switch, and then here you've got your card reader. So you've got power, and then you've got uh, data, you can do vegan, and you can also have input outputs, so you can control like the LED and the beeping on the card reader. And then up here you've got a relay that can power a door strike. So you can you do not need uh, an external power supply for your door strike because you can set the power to your door strike right here. So you can do 12 volt or 24 volt, or if you leave it as common, then it will be. Uh, if you leave the jumper on common, then your door strike will need an external power supply. So if you connect ground and normally open or ground and normally closed, so you connect ground and normally open, you can power a fail secure strike. That means if the power goes out, the strike locks. If you connect ground and normally closed, you can power a fail safe strike. So that's a the strike that is unlocked when the power goes out and then you can power this thing with a battery and also DC power in if you want instead of PoE you still need an hour connection though and then you've also got auxiliary so you've got a 12 volt output and then you've got a inputs different inputs so you can run these to the ground and the input and these can be configured in the camera station and then you've also got a connector for a, a glass break sensor here and a request to exit so you can you can set up alarms in the system as well so what you want to do we're using all of our strikes for 24 volts so we're just gonna connect this, this. So now we will take the jumper out and we're gonna just put it on 24. So if I wanted to do 12 volts, I would just put it on 12 like this. So now it's on 24. So now we just have to mount this up top. 